The idea behind the workshops is really that it's a way of offering people an opportunity to try something out, perhaps, before committing to a semester-long class. Most of us, I think we can only afford short classes, you know, brief, brief time away from work. But in terms of the sort of dramatic shot of, of new energy that it gives to your art and your photography, it's really, it's fantastic. Um, because it just pushes you forward in terms of the way that you view your work. This is the, actually the second workshop in this technique that I've taken here at MassArt. I find it an interesting technique. Um, partly out of history, it's a, it's a gateway to, to history of, of Japan. Then we have accurate two-point perspective. Some, some minor things. But it's a, when you look at the overall drawing, it's something that will stand out as an error. Our workshops are taught by all practicing artists. And so when you have an opportunity to work with some of these artists in a brief span, you can get really intensive focus on a particular aspect of work with people who are really experts in their field. Now I'm going to go to my tiny JPEG that isn't big enough for me to use. Save link as. So do you see the two different ways that I kept its digital ID? So for, and this is not just for Library of Congress, this is for anything. With the short workshops, with all of the people who can come and try something, you can meet people from all around Boston. People sometimes travel from fairly far away. So it's a great way to not only explore a new art form, but get to know a new community. And it's all actually at Mass Art, where there's artists working in all disciplines all the time, where you see things in the hallways, you run into artists working on particular projects, and you can visit the galleries, go to the library. There's a fabulous collection of art books. So what's nice about coming to Mass Art and the workshops is you're always potentially surprised I think in a good way.